With more professions requiring advanced education, a college degree is essential to your success. But earning a college degree will also have a crucial impact on the other areas of your life. For instance, college credits earn more on average and are likely to experience job satisfaction. A college degree can boost your financial savvy and even increase your happiness. That is why applying to college is such an important step. And here comes the question on the college selection and ways to stand out among the other applicants during the admissions process. My name is Kate, I'm the communication manager at SH, and our guest is Kunjun Shan, an impactful counselor, designer, mother, and mentor. Kunjun, thank you for being here today. And let's start with a little introduction. Hi, I am Kunjan Shah from India and I help students discover their passion and pick the right undergrad and postgrad programs. I help them navigate the college application and selection process, especially in India, USA, UK and Canada. Kunjan, you guide students through the admissions process and help them pursue their dreams. How did you become interested in navigating students and helping them find their path? Um, first of all, I believe uh, people aren't one dimensional and we all are naturally inclined to have multiple skills and interests. So I have more than one career. I'm a professional architect. I work for environmental awareness, circularity in fashion industry. Uh, but working with young minds, listening to them, learning from them and guiding them is a skill I have inherited from my mother, who was a teacher. Uh, while working with teens in my extended family and their friends, helping them navigate their career choices made me realize that I so much enjoyed the process and I could probably do it all the time. So that's when I decided to, you know, take this up professionally and did my certifications from UCLA and IC3 and took many self-paced courses. Applying to leading colleges from across the borders require a lot of preparation and the process is really daunting. So I help students navigate the terrain. Kunjan, I totally agree with you that a plan can be a daunting process. But on the other hand, college selection is a very crucial question and requires a serious approach. What are the main criteria to choose the university? What should an applicant consider before applying? College selection is an act of matchmaking. The whole college search process not only helps the student figure out which colleges are right for them, but also as they learn more about the colleges and the programs, they discover so much more about themselves. So the main criteria to choose the right fit universities would be um, probably first thing is look at the courses offered, the majors and the minors and the course content. If the course content interests you, there is a good chance you will enjoy studying there for the next few years. The tip here is just don't skim through the course structure, but have a close look on the university website. Next, also look at the overall vision of the university. What is it known for? The student bodies, the campus vibe, research opportunities, the teaching style, uh, beyond classrooms, clubs, events, housing facilities, etc. Also, additionally, one also needs to check the finances, scholarship opportunities, the location, climate, food, and proximity. Last and the most important is how can the university prepare you for your career? Are there placement cells, internship opportunities, co-op programs, services to polish your resumes, interview skills, and what kind of alumni network? So I hope each one finds a school that lets you succeed in both academics and life experiences. While it is common to hear people say that high school will be the best years of your life, you can make your student years in university even better. So I also think that making the most of your university experience is so vital. Kunjan, and here comes my next question. How should an applicant choose college majors? I think that selecting the right college major may come very easily to some students, while for others it can be extremely confusing. Mm, some tips I would like to share here. Uh, first, get a general idea of what major cluster you would select. Is it technical field, business, humanities, arts and sciences? This will kind of help you narrow down your search on a college website. If you have a specific career you want to pursue, then research which majors can lead to that careers. Or consider your interests, 
browse through potential majors and see which ones seem enjoyable. Remember, the decision does not have to be final. Many change their majors over the course. I would recommend some websites like Road Trip Nation or ME3 Major and Career Quizzes at the ASU website. Uh, these are very helpful for students who are, you know, not, not quite clear of what they want to do. Research what majors are in demand and don't forget to keep in mind future salary expectations and return on investment while searching the majors. High school students often wonder if extracurricular activities matter in the college admissions process. Does the admissions committee pay much attention to extracurriculars? Students' applications are evaluated holistically, considering, say, test scores, transcripts, LORs, essays, and of course, the extracurriculars. Extracurriculars or the ECs are very important because that is where you demonstrate and gain various skills. It shows the aspect of your personality, which your test scores cannot. So ECs are not only important to impress the admissions committee, but on the contrary, it gets students involved in initiatives that they are passionate about and can develop their skills. So participating in activities give them opportunity to better explore their interests and rule out activities which maybe they thought were initially interesting, but ended up being, you know, not being a great fit. ECs help you stand out when there are so many applicants with the same academic scores applying to highly selective universities with much lower acceptance rates. Gunjan, each student wants to excel and show they are fit for the program. What are your recommendations for building a strong academic profile? How should an applicant introduce themselves? Academic profile will be the first and the most important area which the universities would be looking at in your applications. So to build a strong academic profile, take up the most challenging classes available at your school. Uh, they would want to see if you have stretched yourself, have taken a wide breadth of classes available in math, English, sciences, languages and social sciences. Uh, you should maintain your GPA with an upward trend. So you should show progress even if not excellence. Uh, also work on research papers and other publications. Also, the most important thing is uh, check if there are any prerequisites for the major you are applying to. Say engineering schools need two lab science classes. So check for any such requirements to be fulfilled. And my last question, but not the least important one, is uh, what is your advice to all the applicants who are on their way to the admission this year? Yeah, so all the high school seniors who are on their way to applying for the 2022 fall admissions, Stay calm and focused and put your best front forward. Own the process and take charge, but don't hesitate to ask your college counselors or professionals in case any help is needed. As deadlines are looming, focus your time on the college apps. Don't leave any portions to be filled the last minute. Also allow yourself time to write the essays. Tell your stories and make them unforgettable. Convey who you are and what is important to you through your applications. Think about your applications from an outsider's perspective. Don't forget to use the additional information section for any sucking extra information. Also, uh, proofread, preview and review the final application. And don't wait until the last minute to send the applications. Thank you, Kenjan. I'm sure with all your recommendations, it will be much easier to succeed during the application process. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel to receive additional inspiration while you are applying to the university of your choice. Also, if you need a thorough proofread or edit of your admissions document, we are here to help. Check our website for more information, www.sah.com. My name is Kate, and it was the end of